Alright, so this is basically a re up well not re upload but just a new video because the time timelines update that Crazy Blocks released a foot escape literally a week after um, my other um whitelisting video, so we're just gonna be doing a re just a retake on it. So once you open up studio you would wanna go to base plate. And once you're here you wanna First, I recommend you go to Material Service, click that, you go down, and you, it says use 2022 materials, turn that off, because Creative Blocks and Community Maps use under, well, do not use 2022 materials. So go ahead and turn that off. First, then you would want to go to Toolbox, you would want to look down, look for Community Map Kit, FV2CM Kit. If, um... <coughs> Here's a quick edit, um, so the way if you don't have the model already in your inventory, just go to a marketplace, then go to models, then type in FV2. It should be the first model, you see it's uh, made by Crazy Blocks, a good review actually. Then you just buy it, but I already have it, so yeah, that's what you would do. The model and you should be able to buy it there. Once you have it, you would want to put this just whatever you, whatever you want to. Now you can just control U, it ungroups it basically, you can delete these walls. Then you could read all of this once you open it to get a better understanding how everything works, but we're just trying to whitelist the map. Now what you could do, you could um get an FP2 community maps terrain meshes. Put this right here. This has just a bunch of stuff that helps you build. It's really useful. Now, once you have all of these, you could put everything. Let's actually delete base plate. And what you could do is you could basically put everything into geometry. So you see all this. All of this can go into geometry, and it'll be fine when it is. Also, delete the spawn. Once you have this, this is what it should look like. It's close to a box. Um. So once we have all this, you would want to grab everything from Explorer to Geometry to Wall, Control G, then right click it, and then you would save to Roblox. And once you do this, you can name it to, let's say, to GM, um, just whatever, just whatever you want to name it to. And once you do that, make sure it's distributed on the marketplace so it could actually be bought when you hit submit. And don't hit close yet. You want to hit the uh, where it says ID. Click this, and you would copy the ID. Once we do that, we're gonna actually go into Community Maps. Now, once you were in Community Maps, you want to hit the gear icon with the pencil. You would go to Output just to see this. Just to make sure it says if it's whitelisted or not. You want to go where it says Type ID. Control V it, and the ID should be appear. You can hit Enter. You hit whitelist. Should take a while. Yep, and this is maps is whitelisted. We try and put map for this bunch of stuff. Now this is the part that um it could take up to like 10 to 20 minutes for your map to get like whitelisted. I don't know what happened. Apparently it's like really slow now. So yeah, just just wait and come back maybe five to ten minutes to see if the map has successfully whitelisted. Alright, so once you think um, your model has been like whitelisted and everything, go to the gear icon with the pencil, hit to return to single player, this is basically the new reset button because Crazy Blocks removed it. So once you have hit that button and you've gotten to back into like the game, you would go back to output, you would put, well not output, but put the ID right here, then you hit whitelist again, and then, then you would go to output, and if this model says, if it says this model has already been whitelisted, you should be good. Then you hit load, then it'll say number IDs are disabled, then you use J1, A, A, M, whatever your ID says, hit load. Then once C, it says my name on it, I did not change the name, so it's just going to be map making kit. So you can go to map list, get rid of crazy blocks' map, and just have my map, hit thing. As you can see, we are in the map, and our stuff that we put earlier is here. We got the UI, we do all of this, and everything would work. As you can see, it's pretty cool in my opinion. And my camera's stuck. Hold on, let me get the last button. Alright, so yeah. Honestly, that timelines update is actually really cool. Like, 
now that I've gotten used to it and everything. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video on it early, later. But this is basically just how to whitelist and everything. And, well, that's pretty much the video. See ya.